going on guys it is finally October or here in Maryland as we like to call it Rocktober um, so I'm gonna be heading out this evening uh, fishing some shallow water a lot of points uh, different structure and just wanted to give you a rundown of what I'm gonna be throwing so first up it's just a little ultralight um, even though it's Rocktober we can't forget about our white perch uh, October is a great month to catch white perch they're feeding trying to get fat for the winter so you can usually find them schooled up and the ones you're going to catch are typically pretty big. So first setup is just a bobber, a weighted bobber. And then about two feet under that, I have a 132nd ounce jig head. You can use 132nd um, or 116th. And I'm going to hook a bullhead minnow on that. Uh, the idea of the jig head is when I'm casting up to a structure and there's current moving, um, that jig head is gonna keep the minnow down in the strike zone. And uh, with the bobber, it's also gonna let it just kind of float along instead of you casting out and just reeling it right in. So you can really stay in the strike zone a lot longer. Um, perch love minnows. So that's a great way to target them, especially this time of year when they're feeding, uh, trying to get fat for winter. My next setup is pretty similar, um, except this one's gonna be more for covering uh, water. So it's just a 132nd ounce jig head uh, with a white twisty tail on it. And I like to take this in those same areas, rock jetties, docks, any structure you can find. And uh, I'll just keep moving and keep casting until I find a uh, school of perch. Or if they're just scattered, sometimes I'll just keep moving and pluck one or two here and there. So just a simple twisty tail on an ultralight. Another great way to find them this time of year. Moving on to our rockfish setups. First up, we have a spinning rod with 10 pound test and I have a, a quarter ounce GI jig jig head on here. Um, and then I like to go with a Z-Man paddle tail. That paddle tail will hold up to a lot of different fish. Uh, you can catch a bunch on it, it won't rip on you like other plastics. So I like to throw a Z-Man. Um, and I'm gonna be fishing points. Um, rock jetties, stumps, anything I can find that's shallow structure, uh, that's what I'm gonna be targeting. I'll also take this if I see birds working or I see bait getting hit. Uh, it's a great bait to just throw around them. So quarter ounce jig head with a paddle tail, can't go wrong with that in shallow water. Similar setup here. Um, this is a 3 8 ounce Z-Man jig head. Um, and I have a Z-Man Streak Z on the back of that. And the idea with this one is it's just a different presentation. So I'll cast this out and instead of just casting out and reeling in with a paddle tail, uh, I'll pop this pretty hard off the bottom um, to try to get reaction bites. So sometimes those fish don't want a paddle tail. This is a great backup. Um, and you can get a lot, of, a lot of reaction bites with that. And probably the most exciting one most exciting setup here is a topwater. So in October, you have to have a topwater tied on no matter what. Um, rockfish love them. And this time of year when they're feeding hard on bait, uh, it can be a great way to catch them and have a lot of fun. So I got a little chug bug here. Um, I'll throw walking baits as well, like a, a head on spook. But the idea with that uh, is just to kind of pop it along, same thing, shallow water structure, and um, those rockfish will come flying out of the water for it. You can also, if you find birds or just fish feeding um, in open water, you can throw that to them as well. They'll come up and hit it. So I just like to have options. Um, you can throw rattle traps, you can throw all kinds of stuff at the rockfish. Um, find what works for you and don't be afraid to experiment. That's how I, Kind of found a lot of these setups to work for me so um, yeah i'm gonna get out there and i'll see y'all once i'm on the water all right so we're pulling up to our first spot just gonna throw some minnows to this rock wall and looks like jordan's hooked up is that second cast yeah Let's see what we got. Hopefully a perch. Yeah. Decent little perch. Oh, oh I just had another perch. Yeah, 
That's a little better one. There he is. Tighten my drag. Looks like a decent one. Yeah. Three in the cooler. And there's four. It's a percher. In here feeding, trying to get fat for the winter. Oh, he's messing with it. There he is. Is that a perch? I don't think so. Maybe? Little perch. Hanging tight to these rocks. Let's see if he comes back. There he is. That's a better one. Yeah, fat one there. That's what we want. That's what we're looking for. There's another one right off this point. Feels like a decent one. He's digging. That's a big one. <laughs> That's a big perch there. That's probably a 11. Like I was saying earlier, guys, throwing bullhead minnows under a bobber and putting them on a jig head to keep them down. There's a fish. I'm trying to adjust the boat and he hit it. Another nice perch. As you can see, they just inhale those minnows. Nice. Let's see what we got. Oh, that's a nice one. <laughs> that's an 11. Gosh, what do you have? Just play them. What is it? Oh my gosh. Big giant perch. You might need to cast a little farther left. Looks like a nice one. Mm hmm. Solid 10 incher. Swimming at you hard. What is that? Puppy drum. There you go. <laughs> this little puppy drum. Pretty fish. Didn't get on any rock fish yesterday. So that's what we're trying today. Gonna hit some docks. Pitch some soft plastics around. Maybe try to find some birds later. Oh, there's about an eight incher. Another little one. All right, y'all, pulling up on some breaking fish right now. Stop the boat. Yeah. Let's see if we can. Yeah, it's the same pod that was out here yesterday, I bet. There he is. Yeah. No, it feels kind of small. Not bad, though. Um, maybe? Back off this drag. Nah, he's, he's small. I'll flip him. If I can't, if I can't flip him, I'll lip him. All right, y'all. First rockfish for me of the day. About a 16, 17, probably 16, but fat. Fat rockfish right there.
There he is. That feels like a decent one. Out here, decent little fish. Say like an 18, maybe. Oh, he might be a little bigger. Let's see. Mm. Crush that. Z-Man Streak Z. Let's see what he measures. He's just over 19. I'm going to let that fish go. That's a legal fish, but I'm trying to get something. I like to keep him, you know, 20 to 24. All right, well, that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe. Unfortunately, we didn't get on the rockfish like we wanted to, but this cooler weather should have them uh, fired up feeding here soon. We've also got duck season coming up, so we should have some good content coming your way. Until next time, we'll see ya.